Hi all you Band in a Box users, new and old. We're bringing you a tutorial on how to install Band in a Box from one of our flash drives. Now with any purchase you make direct from PG Music, you will receive a confirmation email much like the one I have in front of me. This email is important since it contains your serial number, which is required to activate Band in a Box, as well as a download link, which will allow you to download your purchase in the event you lose your flash drive. We don't need the email yet though, so just keep it handy. Now let's start by plugging a flash drive into an available USB port on your Mac. If your Mac happens to have only USB-C ports, you will need to use a common USB-C to USB-A adapter, like the one I have here. Once you have your flash drive plugged in, it should pop up on your desktop. Let's double click on it to open it up. Now if for some reason it doesn't pop up on your desktop, simply open a finder window and you should see the BB flash drive listed under locations. Now you'll see a number of files in this window, starting with the main Band in a Box installer. This might say Pro, Mega, or Plus Pack, depending on which package you purchased. Next you'll see the documentation folder, which contains some instruction manuals, a README file, which gives you some information about the package you purchased, a license file, which tells you about the license agreement for Band in a Box, some real tracks installers, Depending on which package you purchase, there may be more or fewer of them than what I have here. A plugin data folder, which contains separate installers for the HiQ instruments and playable reel tracks. Now these don't need to be installed separately, they are merely here for convenience. And lastly, a real drum stems installer. Now first we need to install the main Band in a Box files, so please double click on the first of the package files. This will bring up the main installer. The first page will give you information on the package you purchased. Read through it if you like, then click continue. The next page will outline the system requirements for Band in a Box, as well as some installation instructions and tips and tricks. Read this if you like, then click continue. This next page covers the software license agreement. Please read through this page, then click continue to indicate that you agree. Now the installer will offer you some choices. At this point, if you simply want to install Band in a Box onto your computer's internal storage, you can simply click Install and carry on with the rest of the video. If you want to install Band in a Box to a different location though, click on the Change Install Location button, click Install on a specific disk, then choose a different hard drive to install on. I have this storage drive here, for example. However, I'm simply going to install onto my internal storage. Once you've chosen where to install to, click Install. This will prompt you for your computer's password, so please enter that here. Now the installer will get to work on installing Band in a Box. This will take a bit of time, depending on your computer. It may look like it gets stuck on running package scripts, but this is still doing some things behind the scenes, so just let it finish. Now that it's complete, please click Close. And next, we simply repeat the process with all of the other package files. These don't have to be done in any particular order, but we recommend going left to right or top to bottom just to make sure that you get them all. This is important because the most common cause of problems is from missing one of these installers. And now, with the magic of fast forwarding, I'm finished installing. Once you're finished too, feel free to close the windows you still have open and make sure to right click and eject the flash drive before you unplug it. And now it's time to actually run Band in a Box. To do that, open the Finder, Go to Applications in the sidebar, open the Band in a Box folder, then double click on the Band in a Box program. When you first run Band in a Box, it will ask you to access the microphone. This is required to make recordings, such as if you want to add vocals or guitar to your songs. So please click OK here. Now, before we get to creating some songs, Band in a Box will likely have a couple messages pop up. It will ask you to update the style list, and it will ask you to activate. Start by clicking Yes to rebuild the style list, then click Yes to confirm. This will take 30 seconds to a minute to rebuild the styles, reel tracks, drums, and other content. Once the style list has completed rebuilding, click OK to close that window. Now we need to activate. You'll notice that I've lost the green message at the bottom. Normally if you just click on that, it will open up the activation window, but since it's disappeared on me, we can activate by going to the Help menu and clicking Activate Band in a Box. This will give us the choice of activating online or offline. The easiest way to go is to activate online, as the offline method requires contacting our customer service team to get an activation code. 
I'll start by showing you how to activate online, but I will also show you how to activate offline after that. Once you click on Activate Online, it will ask for your serial number. To get the serial number, go back to your confirmation email, select and copy the serial number from the green box, then go back to Band in the Box and right-click and paste it in. Then click Activate Now. Band in the Box will then contact our computer servers to receive the activation code. Once you're activated, you're ready to go. If you have to activate offline for some reason, then click the Activate Offline button. You'll see a similar screen to the online activation window, except that in addition to the serial number, you'll see that it provides a request number and asks for an activation code. To activate, you'll have to contact our customer service team to get the activation code. You can contact us via phone, email, or online chat. You'll need to provide us both the serial number and request number for us to be able to generate the activation code, as this is unique for each computer. Once you've received the activation code, simply enter the serial number and your activation code into this window and click Activate Now. Success! You're now fully ready to use Band in the Box. If you have any other questions, or if you ran into any trouble, then feel free to contact our customer service team. Otherwise, thanks for watching this tutorial video, and as always, have fun!